Hi, Stacy from Paint Scout here, and today I'm going to show you how you can configure your line items. To get started, let's head over to your person icon and select account settings, followed by choosing the line items option on your left hand menu. Now, when you first pop into this section, you are going to notice that we have already uploaded a handful of default line items for you to build off of. If you'd like to create a new line item, simply select the add new line item button. And we're going to start by giving this line item a name. So let's take a look at our interior prep process. Any description you would like to add can be added into this box here. So I just have a couple bullet points with all of the items that the team is going to do every time they do interior prep. Line items are really great for this kind of work to be displayed on the estimate to show your preparation process or, you know, a general description of work. I like to think of it as a chunk of information that we really want to bring into the client focus and may not want to be hidden in your terms and conditions. You also have the option here um, to choose to hide this information from the work order. So you can do so by selecting that box. This will ensure that the line item shows on the estimate to your customer, but it's not may not be relevant to your production team. You will also want to determine what estimate types this line item is going to be accessible on. So you can click anywhere in this box and we're going to choose interior and remove the all option. Now, if you just want this line item to convey your prep process, you can press confirm and you're good to go. However, line items can also have an hours and price included as well. So it's going to operate more so like a projection rate without the use of dimensions. So if that's the case, you would select the hours and cost button at the bottom, and you'll notice that this additional area has populated for us. So you can choose the none radio button. This will allow you to enter in a flat fee and hours calculation. You can also choose an hourly rate or a quantity for your calculation as well. In addition to that, if you select the materials option, you'll see that the materials are added here. Click add materials and we're going to be met with your product list. So we're going to select the relevant paint. Now, the difference between a line item and a production rate is, like I mentioned before, it's not taking into consideration the dimensions of the space. So for any materials, you will have to manually adjust the quantity um, that you are adding in. But you can add more than one material to a line item. So I'm also going to go in and add in a roll of tape. And then finally, we have a notes section. So you can add in a crew note, which will show on the work order, and also a client note, which will show visible to your customer on the estimate. So when we're happy with this configuration, we'll press confirm, and we can see our interior prep process line item has been added here. Now, once you're done configuring your line items, you do have some options for um, organization. The first is going to be by selecting and sorting by estimate type. So you can click this drop down here and let's just take a look at all of our interior line items versus our exterior line items. You also have the ability to drag and drop the line item boxes and reorder them however you would like. Don't forget to save any changes that you've made before moving on to the next section. And if you have any questions about line items at all, feel free to reach out to our support team at support.paintscope.com.